Hey guys, it's Jamie. Um, I'm back with some more Halloween hauls for 2021. Um, it's been a long, horrible year, but spooky season is back. And I can't wait to show you guys what I've splurged on. Um, first, I'm going to show at home. Um, they're usually the first store to really start putting out Halloween goodies. So I've been checking back and forth there for a little while. Um, let's get started. First, I got this mug stack. It like makes a skeleton. I was looking for the other ones. Like there's, uh, let's see, I think one with witchy things and another one with like cute Halloween character faces, but I've not seen any of those. And I got this. This was the first mug stack I, I've gotten for this year, but it's like, I don't know something about it I don't like as much and I found another one at Marshall's that I liked even better which I'll show you in the Marshall's haul anyway moving right along there is that and they also had these early on they don't have them anymore at my store these pretty little skull decanters and I got the emerald green and the blue I also got a clear one, a black one, and a purple one, but I cannot find it right now. Um, it's been so long since I bought those. They're just kind of scattered in my house now. And I also bought some of these um, scented room sachets. I got this one, and it is candy corn scent. And the scents are really great, but I got the other one that is kind of like more of a pumpkin spice smell and I put it in my car and I could smell it for one day and then it was gone so I wouldn't buy these if you're expecting anything long term and also I got some hand soap from there mainly because of the cute bottles they had this one is itsy bitsy hand soap it's by boo boulevard and this packaging is just really if I can get it to focus there we go really cute and the other hand soap I got from there is this cute little jack-o-lantern <laughs> and I also technically I bought my first gnome at at home yeah I know all about the gnomes and you know I I'm not elated every time I see them but some of them are just so cute I just I just couldn't help myself so I got this one at home it's cute because he has like a little bat on his hat and he's holding a jack-o'-lantern and a broom. And then I also got this little mermaid skeleton and it sucks because this is the only one they had and I've been wanting to make like a cool bathroom skeleton mermaid scene. So I wanted to spray paint these and give them colorful hair, but I only found one and I also got and I know <laughs> oh that's that's from a different place I got this cool pumpkin that says don't hex my Bob which I'm gonna start saying that to my daughter all the time and let's see I got this and the little light in it just kind of moves around so that's a little annoying it wasn't stuck in there very good but it's so cute and let me see if I can turn it on oh there we go that's how it looks and it's color changing very cute and I think it was really inexpensive too I think it was yeah $5.99 that's really good and I also got some signs from there. I got this Ouija sign. Very cute. And I got this Be Magic sign. And the last sign, and certainly the least of my favorites and I'll tell you why is this crematorium sign 
I didn't realize how cheaply made this is when I bought it. But if you look right here, the corner is already peeling up. It's just a metal sign with a piece of paper glued on there. So watch out for that one. It's really pretty though. And also I got a table runner. Um, let's see if I can show just the picture. And that's, that's really cute. And it was a, it was a good price too. I think it was like $5.99. And the last thing, I think it's the last thing. Nope. Nope. I did get this from there too. This cool little Halloween tree. I don't think it's on maybe. There we go. And this one is one of the ones that has the jack-o'-lantern on top. So that's really cool. And I think the last thing I got from at home. No, no, no. I keep saying no, no, no. I've got so much stuff here. I got one of these gargoyles. We didn't have any gargoyles in our house. So it's like I usually can't find any that I like. But this one, my husband and I both really liked. And they had a smaller one. But the weird thing is, it's like the um, the paint jobs didn't really match, so I didn't get the smaller one. And here is the last thing, I promise, from at home. Um, I got this pumpkin stack, white pumpkin stack. It is something that I've wanted for a few years now, and I think it's so gorgeous. So I finally got it, and I can't wait to see it all lit up. Okay, guys, that is all from at home for now. Um, I probably won't go back there too many more times because this point in the season is kind of late for them and they're going to start putting out more Christmas stuff. But um, thanks for watching. Be sure to watch all the videos I have to come and subscribe to Disheveled by Dawn. Um, don't forget to like the video if you liked it and want me to do a lot more. And I have an Instagram account now. It's Momster Jamie. And if you just want to follow along and see like different Halloween things I see throughout the year. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.